If neutrinos go through everything, how do we detect them? Neutrinos are incredibly penetrating. If you fire a beam of neutrinos at a light year thick layer of lead, half of them will pass through without even interacting. So neutrino detectors tend to rely on two things, huge size, and huge streams of neutrinos. About 3% of the sun's energy is radiated as neutrinos, and that means about 100 trillion pass through your body every single second. If we have a massive detector, this huge stream of neutrinos passing through it, and we wait long enough, eventually a few neutrinos will interact with our detector. It's a waiting game. No, the waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. Neutrino detectors such as Super Cameo Candy in Japan tend to be huge tanks containing thousands of tons of water or liquid scintillator. Despite this fact, the Super K detector has only detected about 30 neutrino interactions per day, despite the fact that we know it must have trillions of neutrinos streaming through it. If you want to detect neutrinos, size matters.